Chris Ranch is actually the partner and then Thorough Thoroughbred Retirement Foundation as well. So these are horses that have either gone to the racetrack. So with the halter, just always make sure that it's below the cheekbones, okay? Or have like got injured while they were training um, or possibly just, um, you know, weren't going to be turned into a racehorse. Get all his leg wraps on and then we can take him out and walk him. The goal is to get him adopted, adopted out. And so since these came from a race environment, they're hypersensitive to different changes in the environment. We run them through these courses of what they could walk on, uh, wood, just get them used to being around uh, more people. Right, everybody switch handlers. The activities the inmates are doing are actually college classes, so they're earning units. They will also earn what's known as the Groom Elite Certificate, which is a nationally recognized certificate for folks that work in racing stables, they might work at race tracks, they could work at breeding facilities, and it's a certificate that says that they can handle the horses, that they can recognize injury and illness, that they can treat injury and illness, they can wrap legs, they can tack them up, they um, are aware of nutritional needs, they can help formulate diets. Every day we're bringing them out, cleaning the stalls and grooming the horse. And, get in, and harness him and get him ready to walk him and exercise him. But we get to um, trot him, lope him, stretch him, and he gets to work his muscles out. This is not hurting anyone, it could only help. There can be no, there is no collateral damage to this program, there is no uh, negative sides to this program, it's all upside. Uh, the horses, for sure, it's all upside. And for us, everything that I'm learning can only be applied in a positive way. Everybody get the polos and the leg wraps. We have to always remember that when these inmates parole, these inmates are also our neighbors when they parole. Yeah. So if we can possibly educate them and have them to where they learn a skill that they can get a job at, I think definitely go for it. It's an amazing observation when you really open your eyes and open yourself to it. Go a little bit lower where his cheekbone's at. Going from being in a certain environment for a certain thing and then coming here and having to be rehabilitated for something greater, something better, and going through those steps and going through those processes, it's, it takes patience, it's frustrating. Uh, he's very stubborn. <laughs> I'm stubborn. I mean, the, the parallels are, they are endless. Um, obviously, I've had to donate quite a bit of time to get this up and going, um, but I really believed in this program. It runs in um, seven different prisons back east. Seeing that, that the recidivism rate back east has really lowered, I really had a belief in it that we can do that here in California as well. She's definitely the hardest working person that I've met in my life. I see her dedication to this program and to these horses. It puts a fire for me to, I want to work too then, and I want to learn. And the things I don't know, I want to keep trying until I get them right and do them the right way. And, there's, and that's most of us here that want to do that just to match her enthusiasm and her dedication. And it makes us feel like we do have a part of this and, and it's ours too and we have pride in that.